What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing an update on Baba Ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might affect the price of this ticker. And at the end of this video, I will share my technical analysis and my thoughts about upcoming price movements. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here on uh, this previous candle and we are on weekly time frame. And I've told you that uh, this candle, it is an uh, inverted hammer. It shows... Uh, the potential trend reversal. And on top of that, we had several bullish signs uh, on uh, multiple time frames, and uh, it is a bullish divergence on RSI and on a price action. And uh, bullish divergence is uh, the pattern when you can see higher lows on RSI. Right here you can find it. And lower lows on the price action. And uh, this pattern is very strong, and uh, on a weekly time frame we have these good bounces, and from the lowest point to our current price, we have about uh, uh, almost 11% of potential profits. So, very good bounce. And on top of that, let me show you that uh, on a daily time frame, we have for uh, this uh, the most recent candle with the huge volume compared to all of the previous uh, volumes uh, since the end of August. And it is very, very good sign. And in my opinion, we are witnessing the U-turn of uh, this price action. So. And let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. Let's start with the company profile. Alibaba Group Holding Limited, through its subsidiaries, provides technology, infrastructure and marketing reach to merchants, brands, retailers and other businesses to engage with their users and customers in the People's Republic of China and internationally. And uh, as I already mentioned, this company has a very impressive financial numbers. And I don't want to dive deep uh, into these numbers because you can do it by yourself and uh, just uh, believe me that this company is extremely stable from the financial standpoint. So let's continue with the fundamental news uh, that uh, made uh, this U-turn uh, with this uh, huge volume. And uh, we are on Seeking Alpha and this article was published on October the 7th and it's titled Alibaba stock gains 5% as China tech names rally. And let me quote you just several bullets. Alibaba is up 5% pre-market with other China tech ADRs following suit as worries about the country's property sector recede and on some optimism on US-China relations. President Joe Biden and President Xi Jinping plan to have a virtual summit this year. Fidelity also says uh, it is uh, putting money back to work in China stocks after the recent uh, spate of selling. There are companies uh, that have seen good uh, haircuts on their debt that are not justified, Fidelity Global CIO Andrew McCaffrey said during a roundtable according to Reuters. Lots are starting to present opportunity right now after an in, uh, indiscriminate sell-off, he says. And uh, on top of that, we have uh, this article that was published on Yahoo Finance and it's titled uh, Chinese stocks in US surge after Hong Kong peers rebound. And let me quote you this paragraph. Chinese technology stocks rebounded from a record low in Hong Kong on Thursday amid signs of renewed interest in one of Chinese biggest tech names. The shift in sentiment was fueled by a report that Charlie Munger's Daily Journal Corp had increased its Alibaba stake by 83% last quarter and that US President Joe Biden was planning to meet with the Chinese President Xi Jinping before the end of the year. And uh, in my opinion, these are two main catalysts that drives the price of uh, all Chinese stocks. And uh, you can find that uh, not only Baba Ticker, but also Tencent is up 5.3%. Uh, and other stocks, uh, including JD.com, Baidu, Pinduoduo, and DD, at least for 3%. So, we have uh, very good bullish signs. And I have to say uh, that uh, we still have the same forecasts uh, from t pranks uh, We have uh, uh, 26 uh, analysts made uh, these ratings. And uh, 23 of them suggest to buy Baba stock and... Uh, Two suggest to hold and only one suggests to sell. And the price targets are still the same. The lowest price point is $190. Average price is $245.92. And the high level is at uh, $330. So, let me show you 
institutional investors in this company and uh, we have uh, a bunch of recent filings uh, since I made my previous video and all of them are 13F. This means uh, we have uh, not only the value and the number of shares but also we have uh, uh, the change in uh, its position and uh, we have uh, several companies uh, just uh, reduce its position but uh, several of them increase uh, its position and uh, I have to say that a couple of them even made the new ones but you have to keep in mind uh, that uh, these companies has an average price uh, right here as you can see about 186 dollars uh, to 187 even 226 dollars and uh, uh, this company reduced its position for about uh, eight percent so we have to be cautious still we have to be cautious because from the technical standpoint we don't have uh, much confirmation except uh, this volume and this u-turn and uh, i have to say that uh, in my technical analysis uh, i will show you what should we expect but first of all if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell in this case you won't miss my next video so and uh, as I already mentioned, uh, we bounce uh, from this level of uh, around to $138. It is the lowest point at uh, this candle. And uh, we have a very good volume with the latest candle. And on top of that, we even, uh, as you can see, we even broke again this previous level of support that was the resistance. And it is a golden pocket, the range uh, in between 0 0.65 and uh, 0 0.618 uh, Fibonacci retracement levels. And let me show you that uh, it is a Fibonacci retracement from the very bottom to the very top. From the point right here, from this point to the very top. And uh, it works perfectly well for now because we have very good uh, price action around these levels. And statistically, it is the most probable level of trend reversal. But we have uh, this uh, breakout uh, below the 0 0.65 level, below the $149.99 price point. And uh, this is not the best sign, but still, we have very good volume and in my opinion, we might have a very good uh, price action to the upside. So, what should we expect next? In order to establish new uptrend, in order to confirm this uptrend, we have to see not only this uh, bounce to the upside with the good volume, we have uh, one part of uh, this action. And the second part is that we have to have uh, a higher highs with the higher lows. So on a daily time frame, we still have lower highs and lower lows. And we only have one week to the upside. And we exceed, let me show it to you, we exceed only this level, uh, this previous uh, uh, swing high. It is not actually the swing high. We have to exceed uh, the range of $177 in order to establish higher high. And then we have to have a retracement. And on this retracement, if we won't uh, break uh, this support line, we will officially establish higher highs and higher lows. And in my opinion, it will be by the end of November, because we have a lot of room to the top of the sea wave. And I have to say that my previous call on weekly time frame, and I made it multiple times that we have to have this bounce. And some of my viewers even told me in my comment section that I called it multiple times the U-turn. And definitely, guys, if I use weekly time frame and I see the pattern uh, that should uh, be in play, this means on this uh, time frame I have to call it multiple times. So if I use weekly time frame, I have to call this uh, movement every week. If I use, for example, five minutes time frame, and let me show you, for example, right here. So right here at this very point we have a bullish divergence and uh, it is a higher loss on RSI with the lower loss on the price action. And this means on this uh, time frame, I have to call the U-turn every five minutes because it is a five minutes time frame. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. I have nothing to add uh, to this analysis. Just be cautious and you can accumulate your position, as I already mentioned, around the levels uh, of uh, $149 and below. And for now, we have this uh, breakout to the upside on the level that is uh, 
156 dollars and it is very very good uh, price action but still we are not out of the woods and that's why we have to see more confirmation in order to add our position heavily so if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye